what's up welcome to another video so it's been a week I missed a week so technically it's been two weeks since I uploaded a video because I was sick and it wasn't fun I haven't been sick with like flu stuff in many 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 years I want to say like maybe five years maybe six years I haven't been sick um, like that since forever I can't even remember the last time I had like you know like solid antibiotics and stuff like that but it happened and also so many other people got sick as well and is still sick so I'm assuming maybe this is just um, I don't know that time of the year I guess um, so yeah, it was not fun, but it's all good now. I mean, I still feel not like a thousand percent myself in the sense of feeling a little bit still like tired. I think when you're sick, it really like takes it out of you. So yeah, I am a little bit tired, you know, like fatigue-ish but other than that I'm 100% fine but yeah that's why I didn't film last week because just no point and definitely didn't feel like picking up the camera even though there was in any way nothing to film other than me lying and sleeping and feeling like crap but yeah so it's Friday it is extremely hot you can see how shiny my face is it is so hot this whole week has been like excessively excessively hot and I think this is now just the start of it being really really warm so yeah we struggle to like cool down the flat we have like an air cooler and stuff but it's just it's not as good as an actual air con but yeah so in the evenings it does help a little bit living by the ocean like the sea breeze does you know cool it down a little bit but it's still pretty hot so anyway it's Friday afternoon I'm sitting chilling I'm tired <laughs> weeks been long it's hot so I am gonna chill now on the couch my hair is very dirty I am gonna wash it like maybe like in an hour's time or so because we have an exciting Thing happening tonight so we are gonna go watch the Nutcracker at the Artscape and I am extremely excited I have said so many times that Christmas is my favorite time of the year and um, yeah just going to go watch something like Christmassy is pretty cool and exciting so that's what we're gonna do tonight but the show only starts at 7.30 which is like super late for me because normally by that time I should be home already so it's quite odd not really knowing what to do between now and when we need to go so I just made some lemmingtons or it's still in the oven I need to still dip it in the chocolate sauce and the coconut but I yeah I felt like that so I made some and it's just baking in the oven but other than that I'm just gonna chill I'm busy watching the Harry and Meghan documentary thing on Netflix so I'm gonna chill on the couch watch that maybe take a nap before we get ready to actually go and luckily hopefully at that time it's not that hot anymore but I really need to wash my hair so that's kind of the plan for tonight like two three weeks ago i made lemmingtons that i bought at woolies that you know those christmas gift packages that you can buy so it was like a white tin and then all the ingredients in there and then i made it and it was like it was like out of this world delicious so i didn't want to buy the tin again from woolies because it's you know it's quite expensive i think it was like 200 rand or something so and I also have all the ingredients here so I just decided this afternoon to make it so yeah that's just baking hope it comes out like delicious 
and yeah that's the plan for for tonight very very excited about going to see the nutcracker and then tomorrow is a mystery i don't know the way i feel right now i don't want to do anything because i feel drained but i might feel different tomorrow maybe just a good night's sleep will do the trick but I wanted to go to the beach, but I also did see on the weather that there's some thunderstorms coming in. So if it's like overcast, even though it's like 30 degrees, there's no point in going to the beach. So I might want to do some random things around the flat. Uh, I wanted like clean the shower, you know, clean the oven, like random stuff like that, clean the floors, maybe do some um, washing, just like stuff like that. And I do also want to repack my cupboard because it's first of all a mess transitioning between like winter and summer luck has made my cupboard a little bit messy and then also i'm trying to figure out slowly what i want to take on our trip when we go in the beginning of feb so i just want to put you know aside all those winter stuff because currently it's like like it's taking up space in my cupboard which it technically doesn't need to so i kind of want to take out the suitcases because they you know they can take quite a lot and put some of the puffer jackets and stuff in there because it's not like i'm going to wear them now in any way and then you know i can slowly put those kind of things that's in any way taking up space in my cupboard in the bags or like something like that but yeah, I that so that is if I just do my cupboard tomorrow, I'll be happy. The other stuff you can you know do any other day, but I feel like that takes quite some time figuring that stuff out. And yeah, I when my cupboard's like messy, it like I, like I'm so annoyed in the morning when I like open up the cupboard and I actually can't see what it is that's going on there, and I can't find the stuff that I want to wear. So I'm trying to be kind to myself and just reorganize it so that's kind of it for this weekend um i just want to take it slow i don't want you know too many things going on and stuff like that otherwise monday comes and i'm sitting in the same space i'm in right now anyway that's that little bit of an update um but yeah i'm gonna chill now and then i'll chat to you a little bit later Appalachian sunrise meets my skin Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in Golden, golden. I'll follow on golden, golden Golden, golden things spring rainbow trout and hummingbird wing golden I'll follow the golden 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 things gold hair gold ring Bye.
Okay, it is so hot. Um, I'm just gonna let my hair air dry. I just have like this tank on with a black, like formal kind of wide leg pants, and I'm gonna wear my Converse with that. I think, you know, like smart casual. I did want to wear a dress, but now I don't want to anymore. So anyway, this is basically it. Um, nothing fancy or anything, as always. I'm going to let this air dry and then we need to leave in like 30 minutes so I'm going to get Jason up so you can like go get ready and then, then we need to hit the time. Saturday morning and it is hot. <laughs> it's so hot. Um, it is sunny, so technically I think we could have gone to the beach, but um, it does look that like uh, it might. Um, the clouds might come in soon. Anyway, I need to run the dishwasher right now because. Firstly, we need to run it right now, otherwise the next load shedding um, time slot will mess with that, so I'm just going to put that on quickly. Cool. So that's that. Um, yeah, so just need to get that going so that it finishes before, we, um, before the electricity goes out again. Classic. Um, yeah, so last night, update on last night, it was like, if you are able to get some tickets to the Nutcracker, it is amazing. Those ballet dancers are so talented. It's, I don't know how they do it. I really don't, but it was amazing and it was just such a great vibe and we haven't been out doing something like that in like forever so it was a nice change of scenery and stuff like that so it was so worth it i mean the tickets weren't that expensive anyway but with the live orchestra and it just it was really good it was packed i don't know if it was sold out but it was packed um, with people so yeah major major like success and yeah we are planning to go to the shop quickly this morning um i need to well, we need to get some groceries for next week and because we've kind of been slacking since we were sick last week so our black like, food schedule situation is a little bit off so i just want to get back to that so get the groceries and then um we need to get an oven light the little bulb in the oven um, doesn't work anymore so we need to replace that with a new one so we need to get that and then what else um, I don't know what else we need to get but just like small stuff so we're gonna do that and then I'll come and repack my cupboard like later this afternoon but that's basically you know what I am planning to do again like I said yesterday not that much but yeah, it's very hot, but I just have this like linen -y, light blue shirt with like these kind of like white shorts 
that I have on and I have no makeup on yet I need to go put on some makeup before we leave but nowadays you know when we like do these random like errands and stuff I just put like a BB cream or whatever the tinted sunscreen on and it gives me enough color but not like heavy like makeup because I actually don't feel like wearing like foundation and stuff like that my skin has been pretty good for the most part so when it's like this I like to embrace it before another breakout so I yeah and that's basically it so let's make some coffee because I haven't had coffee this morning Across the room When I rest met I never knew That I could feel this way And it's kind of strange Don't even know your name I'm chilling in the car. Chase is trying to show me something from inside the store. I don't really know what he's... I don't know what he's looking at. He's supposed to just get one thing. But now he's showing me stuff from the... Um, from inside the store. I don't know what, he, what he's on about. Anyway, we just went to Macro. Well, first we went to go get some coffee. Mm. Do yourself a favour. The gingerbread... It's the ice latte gingerbread ice latte from Starbucks is so nice. I get it with oat milk and obviously you don't put any extra sugar in it because it is a little bit sweet but it's like really good. And then um, did you get anything? Yeah. Thanks. Anyway and then we went to Macro and we got really good deal on <laughs> toilet paper. It's just not that exciting. And that's all we got so far. Okay, we just drove basically like a couple of meters. We are at the brights now and I'm not gonna get out. I just for some reason don't like the brights that much. I'm gonna I prefer the builders warehouse over the brights. Anyway, you can see the toilet paper in the back of the car. We got two black packs of twenty-four each. So it was a really good price at macro because toilet paper is expensive um and i do like the little dog toilet paper anyway so got that and i actually also bought panadas because i have a very very intense headache and i don't know if it's just because of the heat to be honest i've had a headache this whole week well, I keep on waking up with a headache, so I'm not I'm not hundred percent sure why, but yeah. So I had to just take like a panada. So hopefully that will go away soon. But um, yeah, maybe it's just the heat and stuff. Um. So yes, Jason's in the brights because he's gonna get the oven light. I think that's he said that's what 
is here and then we're just gonna go buy some groceries and then I think he's gonna drop me off and he's gonna go work on his I think he wants to work on his Land Rover and then I'm gonna chill and then we can do the cupboard repacking but I think I do want to lie down because I do not feel like 100% so I don't want to like do everything immediately when we get home and maybe just like chill a little bit um I finished the Harry and Meghan part one of the documentary um because I did see that only the next episode or episodes are only coming out next week just disappointing I was like I got like really into it because I there's things that I didn't know or I have learned so far and I find it very interesting and it is insightful to hear their perspective on things so yeah now I have to wait till next week to finish that but there's a bunch of YouTubes that I want to watch and um, I'm also busy with some series on Netflix as well so there's definitely a lot of material for me to binge watch this afternoon and then maybe later when it's cooler we can do the cupboard and stuff okay so we just got back it is one now so the electricity is going off at two so I don't know what I need to do that requires electricity but I do want to pack out all the black like, groceries and stuff so that maybe if I do want to use the oven or the air fryer or something that I can still do that before we are in load shedding again but we went to Checkers Clicks and Woolworths for some grocery stuff um, I did tell you about the <laughs> toilet paper from Macro that we got and then some random stuff like the oven bulb thing that is working now so now I can see inside the oven at last anyway so got a bunch of random stuff really but let's rapid fire this grocery haul so from Woolies just standard got the guacamole that we always get it was two for 55 rand I got some coleslaw salad classic bag of the chicken nuggets we did try out the checkers chicken nuggets last week or the week before I think I showed it on a video maybe uh, it was good it was like a southern fried one it wasn't bad at all so definitely like worth a purchase but it's not these Woolies ones it's not the same then we got some carrots I want to make chicken soup and obviously for the bun and they had two for 22 rand so two kgs for 22 rand which not bad also got uh, some green peppers as well for the bun it's apparently really good for their eyes and stuff the vitamin C or something that's in here and it doesn't have a lot of sugar and I like to cook with this as well then next up I got some mangoes for a change I haven't had mangoes in a while these are the ripe and ready ones I got a four pack they are a bigger bags of mangoes at Woolies but those are those rock hard ones it's the same as the avo bags the one that comes in that big bag normally you really can't eat so yeah they have that then we just got two coke zeros obviously and what else did I get some pineapple rings also this was 20% off if you buy two I always like to have that and then classic got a cantaloupe I've had probably four or five cantaloupes in the last like two weeks or so favorite 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 fruit favorite fruit Nachis in winter cantaloupe in summer then what else do we have oh just bought a big box of Pinatos because of my headache we just got some toothpaste they had a deal I think this was two for 70 rand the Sensodyne ones we really like those 
and then also viral choice so we drink this we have a big um, container of viral choice tablets but we walked past the markdown section at Clex, which is always so hidden and random but then this viral choice was marked down it's like almost like half price it is half price so i grabbed that because i don't want to get sick again so better take our vitamins then i just got some of these frozen german pretzels from checkers these are delicious what else oh we got a prego steak i've never had this before but we because we normally buy the steaks like these kind of like steaks from willies but we bought this one at checkers so just like this so that will be interesting i'm not a big steak person at all so i do like it has to have like some pre sauce situation i don't just like steak like that and then we got they had a 20 percent off on like cold meats so we got uh, salami as well as just a normal continental ham which looks like that it's like normal sandwich ham really got some of that and then just a pack of chicken breasts because i am going to make some chicken soup i think either tonight or somewhere tomorrow because first of all i love it secondly it's great to store for the week coming as well and then what we got at woolies was these spicy barbecue glazed pork belly rashes sounds delicious and then i got some gluten-free rolls we got some normal rolls for jason because we still have some sausage in the freezer so we just want to make some hot dogs somewhere this week and then lastly classic fruit mince pies at Woolies. this is jason's favorite every year around christmas this is his treat for the month of december um anyway that is that for groceries so i'm gonna pack this away and then i'm gonna take a chill and then i'll see you a little bit later when we tackle my cupboard okay so as you can see i'm dealing with a mace behind me but i got a big um bag or two big bags that i'm gonna put the wintry stuff that I potentially want to take on our trip. I'm going to put that in first so that I can free up some space because it's pretty chaotic in that area. Um, so I'm going to take a couple of puffer jackets, classic K-Way, this thing never fails. I'm going to take one K-Way I think that's enough and then I'm gonna take this black like polo neck I'm just gonna put everything on the side I also want to take this red puffer so I got this on our trip last time I bought this at Target and it's just this like maroon burgundy puffer it was pretty inexpensive and it's super warm and thick so that's going I'm not taking my Christmas jersey just because it's long after Christmas when we go then I got this like puffer vest situation from Superbalist so it doesn't have sleeves and it's quite long and then it has like these um, whatever this is called just like cinch in the waist um, but yeah, and it has a hoodie, so I love a puffer with a hoodie. So I'm gonna pack this as well because I think that with like jerseys and stuff, it will be nice to wear like a polo neck jersey underneath um, this puffer. Then I wanted to show you. Uh, two of these pants. So this is like two from Mango. I got it on a sale But it's like this is like a formal pants and I don't think you can see on the camera But it's like it looks formal, but it's a legging, but it's like formal 
black pants material, but super stretchy. And it has like, uh, it's like a bell bottomy kind of, you know, at the bottom with like a slit at the bottom, at the ankles. So I was thinking that will be a nice, you know, pants to take with. And then I got this one as well, which I didn't realize was like a ribbed material with from the picture. But this is also from Mango. Also like leggings, but like ribbed. And at the bottom, it also has like, you know, like a slit at the ankle. So these two, I'm going to take because they'll be comfy with like jerseys and stuff. And I think then I'm just going to pack... I think that's it from a puffer perspective. I might take one coat, like one long coat. The thing is the coats are heavy and also they take up so much space. So anyway, I'm contemplating that still, but if I have space, one coat, like a camel color one or maybe a gray one. And then there's one other puffer that I want to buy. From superbalist but that's basically it the others will just be like um like jerseys and then i can just rotate the jerseys and um wear the same like jackets that that's fine so that's kind of the plan so i'm going to just put all the jerseys on here and then repack that nonsense there I'm done. It's so hot. Um, the cupboard looks a lot better. I don't know if it really shows on camera, but it looks a lot better. I mean, I still have the issue of like not a lot of space, which isn't ideal, but it looks a lot better. And everything that I think that I might want to take on the trip, winter stuff, is in this purple bag and I kind of like taped it closed and stuff so it's just sitting here for now I will go through it obviously when we actually start packing because then I might I might have added too many things but I think for the most part less jackets and more like stuff that you can wear underneath so you can rotate those things but not too many jackets and stuff but I think I might have too many things in this bag because previous times we would take like two bags each. This time we're only taking one bag each. So I am going to really try to get everything into one bag. But yeah, so that's kind of that. All of that stuff is sorted and so on. I mean, it is what it is and I don't think I can do anything <laughs> other than just, I don't know, every couple of weeks reorganize it because it's such a tight space it's very hard to keep it super tidy because if you take something out the rest comes out and then you kind of like push it back in and it just gets messy so I think it's more of a packing it or reorganizing it more often than finding this magical way of packing where it's always going to be organized so yeah that's basically it I'm like literally like sweating this exercise like took it out of me but it looks like it's going to start raining now which is very nice obviously but yeah it's still super hot I think I'm gonna go take a shower now and just relax because I'm tired now of just doing this exercise so yeah but I'm happy I did it always feel good once it's done anyway thank you for watching this vlog and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!